So the PSA is a blood test. It's a number. And we don't treat numbers or blood tests. We put that number into greater context. There are so many other factors that are involved in deciding what is best for an individual man. PSA is very important. And clearly, the higher the PSA, the more concerning it is that the cancer could be aggressive. However, there are other causes for an elevated PSA. If you have a very large prostate that is not cancerous, but is mostly benign tissue, but has a small amount of cancer in it, you could have quite a high PSA. That has nothing to do with the cancer. Vice versa, if you have a small prostate with a high PSA, that could be more concerning. So you have to put it into context. Another aspect of how we think about prostate cancer is looking at the grade or the Gleason score. This is what the cancer looks like under the microscope. It's a scoring system that the pathologist, the doctor who is analyzing your tissue, is going to assign to your cancer. And the higher the score, the more aggressive the cancer is likely to be. So if you have a Gleason 8 or 9, that is high risk. And that requires more aggressive, more prompt treatment. But if you have a Gleason score that is, say, 6, that is not quite aggressive. And you can sit back, relax, take your time, think about it more. And you may not even need treatment for a cancer that is very low risk.